This is Ryan, the Disruptarian, uh, from Disruptarian.com. It's uh, 6th of June, 2024. So, in my life, my personal life, I got thinking about gaming, uh, video gaming. And I have two friends right now in my life uh, that have a spouse or a significant other that spends a lot of their time gaming, not a lot of their time working, and it causes problems for their situation. And I remember this as a con in my life. Like, I was like, you know, I can't really judge them. I was like this growing up, you know, like as a teenager. I was absolutely obsessed with gaming to a point of not going to school and staying up all night and sleeping all day or sleep or not sleeping at all and just being very obsessed with video games. And I know it's an unhealthy thing. It's not uh, something I want to do in my life now. And, you know, I'm not nearly as productive if I'm, if I'm obsessed with video games. Because for me, and, and this is something that I remember as, as a youth, but for me, like, doing good isn't ever good enough. Like, I always have to one-up my own self. Like, even if I'm good and even better than what my other peers or friends or family can do in a video game. You know, and I've got some pretty competitive family members who play video games and are good at them. But if I'm able to do better than them, and, you know, that would possibly be satisfying for most people. For me, like, I'm not even worried about that. Like, if my score is a million one day, a million points one day, you know, I want to double that the next day or at least get a lot better, you know? I'm not satisfied if I'm getting less than a million points or in a pinball game or whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm always challenging myself to be better than myself. So it's not really a competition with other humans. You know, gaming usually, unless you're playing one of these multiplayer games, but I would say in the games that I've played, uh, especially in my youth, it's a, you know, single person game or single person play. And so like pinball, I'm always trying to beat my, my next, my last best score and get a free play every game. That's my goal is to get a free play and to beat my last score, you know? And so I love pinball games. I'm pretty good at them. Um, but I remember, you know, not only spending a lot of time on video games, but like on pool and pinball as a kid, spending a lot of money. And it was a real detraction from my life in a lot of ways. But I remember it just being um, skill based, a lot of these games. And so, um, you know, Tetris and, you know, other um, um, you know, geometry or physics games, you know, th there's a lot of those. And there's great games like shooting games, multiplayer games, you know, that are all skill based, and very useful in the world in a lot of ways. I, I personally believe flight simulators, I love those and I've worked on my pilot license myself, you know, before I got in my car accident. So I, you know, did flight simulators most of my childhood and then took that to real life and it was good for me. I'm very comfortable in an airplane. So I think that video gaming has a lot of cons, but it has a few pros as well, and I think that's that's part of it. So when I was talking to my friends and thinking about their situation with their spouse, my thought was, well, I can't judge them. I'm judging them because they're not paying their bills or they're not doing this or they're not doing that. Like, you know, their family's poor because of their gaming habits, you know, potentially, and in these cases anyway. and. Uh, so I get it, though. As a kid, that's what I did. I would not go to school at very young ages just to sit and play my Nintendo and you know find every excuse to just stay at home during the day and play my, my Nintendo more. Um, I, but I remember, and this is the story, it was, and I can't even remember the name of this video store, but they had a video game competition. And I always rented video games from the store, but their competition was for... A bunch of memorabilia, Nintendo stuff, and then there was a gift card for 10 rentals and a Rambo handheld game or some shit like that, like a first-person shooter game. It was like handheld and all analog, like, you know, barely digital. <laughs> and, uh, but it was um, the 10 uh, rentals that I wanted. I didn't want this handheld thing. And that was the first place prize was this handheld Rambo game. And the second place prize was the... Uh, 10 rentals and that was like worth 30 or 40 bucks to me and I would be renting anyway so I really wanted that so I knew a way to beat the game every time it was in level 5-1 you jump on a turtle and you tip it till it you know gives you unlimited lives and unlimited points I mean you just 
rack up the points endlessly and it never stops and you eventually get unlimited lives where you just can't die um, and so yeah you just jump on this turtle and you bounce them against a step on the uh, what is it called like a stairway or whatever a ladder you're bouncing them off this stairway until you get you know you're just endlessly bouncing and you get the um, the points and the lives and so I taught the other two guys in the competition, there was just the three of us that, you know, this is something you could do. Like, they didn't know that was a possibility. And so then we were all kind of turtle tipping. But I had the most points at first. And, you know, I knew that I was going to win first place. I didn't want first place.